Martinez in the Indian Square, and this is our greenhouse, an ecological greenhouse. Yes. Okay, so this greenhouse has lots of cool features. Like for example, it has real electric wiring, real lights, and real solar panels that provide real electricity from the real solar light. It also has an eolic system that um, works with the wind. Uh, right now it's working with the battery, but you can see that if I stop it, the, the lights in the greenhouse will stop. Okay, uh, this greenhouse is also powered by, by, solar, by solar panels by solar power and it has small LEDs right here like these ones and this one and that aren't really lighting right now because it depends on the power of the sun and we don't have much sun. And we have uh, 10 square meter gardens and a greenhouse and one one aquaponic system that we will um, be home to 150 plants that will be lettuces and it will have three levels. Um, it will have also fish. Yes, and the aquaponic system works with a lake and some fish and uh, different levels of tubes with holes in them where the plants go. So basically, um, the fish poop uh, works as a, a fertilizer to for the plants. So it goes through the water that goes through the tubes and, and watering the, 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 the roots of the plants uh, with the poop and the poop serves as a nutrient that will make the plants grow better, easier and more healthy. Uh, the, um, the square meter gardens, uh, we have 10 of them. Um, for every different vegetable or crop, we have two of the 10 square meter gardens and we have uh, the different vegetables uh, for the square meter gardens. For the square meter garden, we have potatoes, tomatoes, beans, uh, cucumbers, and carrots. So uh, for potatoes, uh, we have two square meters, and uh, for every square meter, for every square meter, we have and nine, nine, plants. Plants. nine plants. So in total, we have a total of 18 plants. And there will be, and there will be an approximate uh, number of harvests per year of nine harvests of potatoes per year. Okay, the other plant we have is tomatoes, and we also have two square meters to garden on them. Uh, the beans. The no, beans. No, the beans have okay, tomatoes. And the number of plants per square meter is uh, nine plants, uh, also as potatoes, 18, and only uh, four, four harvests per year. Beans. Beans have an average for beans to meters, to square mm -hmm. meters, and beans um, will be an area for growing up to square meters, just as all the other plants. Uh, for every square meter, uh, we have 36 plants. It is a very producing plant, type of plant. And uh, the total number of plants is 72 in the two square meters. In the expected harvest per year, uh, surprisingly for me, because I thought that beans uh, grew much faster in, in larger quantities, is six uh, expected harvests per year. The other uh, vegetable, we, vegetable we have is cucumbers. Cucumber, the area for cucumber is two square meters. Okay, the number of plants produced by square meters is nine, nine plants per harvesting. The total number, the total number of plants will be 18, and the expected number of harvest per year will be five. Okay. Uh, the other vegetable that we have is carrots. Carrots were really surprising for me because um, I thought that carrots were a very hard vegetable to grow. Um, and surprisingly for me, um, it's actually one of the easiest uh, carrot, easiest vegetables to grow and to cultivate. It grows in really large quantities. It doesn't need a lot of space, and it's and it grows really fast. So uh, carrots, we as all of the other plants. 
um, has two meters to harvest um, for every square meter. Uh, we have 144 plants, and the total number of plants is 288, and the expected number of harvests per year is 12. So, so those are our uh, square meter plants, and for aquaponic we have lettuce, we have 150 expected lettuces in the three levels of aquaponic, and we can't um, be sure of how many, um, uh, how much time it will take and how much expected harvest per year we will have because uh, aquaponic is a very new and uh, new way and effective way and it's a uh, that was developed and it's a way that hasn't um, really been studied and it really changes the uh, amount of time uh, for a plant to grow. But it is very sophisticated and very helpful to grow plants. Yes. Mm, also from the lake that we have, um, it will be um, uh, the water from the lake would power the irrigation system that uh, irrigates the square gardens. And also, as you can see, around our greenhouse, we have lots of green space. And we have expected to have benches to have for people to have lunch and have um, lots of fun. Maybe to have class to learn about photosynthesis, like how the plants grow, like learn about and how to be like ecological about the solar panels and how to save the planet. Yes, that's right, banana. And we will have a, a, we want to have a small classroom right here um, so that uh, kids that are learning about um, plants, photosynthesis, uh, life and starting to learn about science uh, can learn and come and look at the greenhouse, look at how it works, look at how it benefits you, and look at how it benefits all of us. And also, um, we don't only want to do this to be a greenhouse, but a uh, further step uh, for the school to become a more ecologic school and to help more the environment. Mm, as you can see, we have lots of um, uh, materials that um, use the power from nature, the power that nature gives us. And we want to like start in the greenhouse and hopefully in the future uh, we will have uh, the school having uh, more eolic systems and uh, eolic turbines and more solar panels all around the school to the point where we will be very little dependent on on so on um, electricity and man man-made electricity and we will be more dependent on uh, electricity from the nature. Also, um, the dimensions of our greenhouse model right now are of uh, 62.5 uh, centimeters by 45 centimeters by 27.5 centimeters. That's length and width and height. And uh, the dimensions of our greenhouse uh, that would be in real life are 2.50 by 9 meters by 5.50 meters, also length and width and height. Okay, uh, this greenhouse, what we are trying to do is like to take a start, to take a step to, for saving the world because we wanted to be very ecological and like to other people to follow this example so now the world will be less contaminated and it will have more trees because unfortunately a lot of trees are being uh, brought down because of wood needed in the world, but this is like a new thing that could help like to make a change. Yes, and um, also as you can see there are lots of uh, animals in the surrounding areas and lots of trees, and that's not just for decoration. In real life we want to have uh, some animals and um, and lots of trees, um, because that won't only make it um, more pretty and more fun to be in, but it will also um, make it more a more a uh, happy place, and it will make it is um, a more a uh, varied place for uh, children to learn about uh, their world. In this greenhouse, um, the main objective that the school gave us for this greenhouse was uh, giving food to the children of the foundation. And right on, right next door school. 
but not only will it give them to them, but it, we, we, we hope that it will also give them a better future because the basis on this greenhouse may help the school uh, take more conscience about ecological uh, forms of energy and uh, energy usage and maybe uh, create all the turbines and promote that around not only the school but also around the country and also to build more solar panels so that we're not so dependent on man-made electricity and even to a point where we just depend on the electricity of the nature. So that was the presentation. Okay, thank you, um, Apple. And we hope you enjoyed us, our presentation. Thank you very much, and I hope that you uh, have in mind everything that we told you today. Thank you.